we are guaranteed precious inheritance in Christ. Even though you may not be able to see right now the good things that God has for your future. Today's scripture says that the Holy Spirit is in us to reveal to us the things that God has freely given to us. Those are precious and priceless gifts such as the gift of forgiveness, the gift of no condemnation, the gift of righteousness, the gift of eternal life, and the different gifts of, of the spirit that God has placed in our lives. Do you know, are you aware that righteousness is a free gift to be, re to be received? Are you aware that forgiveness of sins is a, is, is, is a free gift to be received? And do you also know that eternal life is a free gift to be received through Jesus Christ? That you cannot obtain, uh, obtain them or work for them and achieve them yourself? They are free gifts to be received. Are you aware? It is not based on your good performance, but because you are a believer in Jesus Christ. Not only have, not only have all your sins been forgiven, there is that we have more gifts apart from total forgiveness of sins in Christ if you put your trust in him. But you also have you you've, you are also justified by faith and made righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. That is only if you place your faith in the blood, the power in the blood. And the Holy Spirit lives in you as a new creation, as a new believer. The Holy Spirit lives in you. You have something that the patriarchs of the Old Testament never had. That is the difference. Abraham, the friend of God, James chapter 2 verse 23, never had it. Moses who led the children of Israel out of Egypt never had it. Abraham, David, Abraham, Moses, they never had the Holy Spirit living in them. And even David, who, whom the Bible calls a, man's, a man after God's own heart, never had it. Abraham, David, Moses, they never had the Holy Spirit living in them. They had the Spirit on them, but not in them. Back then, in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit would come and go. First Samuel chapter 16 verses 13 and 14, then Psalms 51 verse 11. You and I, however, have been so perfectly cleansed by the blood of Jesus once and for all, that the Holy Spirit now lives in us and abides with us forever. That is the difference between the old test, the, the new covenant, and the old covenant. The apostle Paul tells us that even Apostle Paul tells us that when we believed in Jesus, he identified us as his own by giving us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he has promised and that he has purchased us to be his own people. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14. Beloved, 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 when you believed the gospel and got saved, God sealed you with the Holy Spirit of promise to attest that you have been given the free gift of righteousness and the gift of eternal life through Jesus and his finished work. That is why when you hear the purity of the gospel of grace being preached, the Holy Spirit in you responds with great joy and great peace. When you constantly listen to preaching on the love of God and his 
beautiful grace. The shackles of Christian religion, legalism, legalism, self-righteousness, and, ye and years of toilsome condemnation starts to break off one by one. Precious intimacy with the Lord Jesus is started. Fear is replaced with, the, with his perfect love. Insecurities with his assurance of grace and self-doubt with his strong embrace of um, affirmation. Brother, the preaching of the gospel of grace changes lives. And the reverse is also true. Listening to the gospel of grace changes life. Tests for the good news, tests for inspirations that point you to Christ and the finished work. Where you have the free gifts of the Holy Spirit, free gifts of righteousness, free gifts of uh, eternal life, and free gifts of forgiveness of sins. They are free, free to be received for every believer. Amen. Stay tuned.